Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my bathroom. So today I'm sitting on the floor. Normally I'm standing up and you can see the door behind me, but today I am sitting my butt down because honestly my back always hurts after I film these videos in here and I really need to do something about my video situation setup. I just have not gotten to it and I just put it off and really need to turn like the office dog room into a recording video because I'm sure you guys hate I mean, love seeing the back of my bathroom. But instead, we're going to just go ahead and do my January favorites. So we are basically two, two weeks in, halfway through February, but these are all items from January and I just haven't gotten around to filming this video, but I'm going to. So let's just jump right in, no more talking, and these are some of my January favorites. So first up, I'm pretty sure I've shared these on my channel before, um, probably when I first got them, but it's been like two years and I don't think I've shared them in a while. Um, you guys know I bought a pair of Tory Burch sandals a couple months ago and I shared that review on my channel versus these bad boys, these $50 jelly flip flop sandals that are kind of like Tory Burch inspired, I would say, but they are their own brand. Um, I've been wearing these a lot lately just because, well, I've been wearing the Tory Burch ones as well just because I was in California for a week and had some really nice weather. And then we had some okay Texas weather, so I got to wear these. But honestly, like I love the Tory Burches and I would say they're definitely more comfortable. Obviously, the $150 price difference is what makes them more comfortable. But these are great as well for a $50 splurge or save, I don't know, however you want to look at it. Those are great. I just think they're great. And I love the black. They come in a ton of other colors as well, but the black is my favorite to throw on with shorts or even leggings and anything really just going into spring and summer. And then next is this hair dryer, and I actually used this today. My hair is super straight, so I washed my hair today. I think I need to do an updated hair care routine for you guys because I went 13 days without washing my hair. So, uh, sounds freaking nasty, I promise I showered. And don't get me wrong, um, the last like three days were a little rough and a little scratchy if you know what I mean. But I went 13 days, my hair just feels good, feels strong. Um, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I wash it and it seems longer and other times I'm like, why does my hair seem so short? So, but I probably had it dried about 60 to 70% of the way and then we were getting ready to leave and the weather was really bad outside. So I needed to dry my hair. And so I used this bad boy and uh, well, Look at how straight my hair is. The other couple times that I used it was not crazy about it, but I think the like half damp, half dry really worked well. Some people love this with their hair super wet, like soaking wet. Some people love it with their hair dry and frizzy from sleeping in it and then using this the next morning. Honestly, I think it's personal preference, so play around with it. But these are on sale all the time. Um, it's a blow dryer. If you didn't catch that, I guess they did not say that. It's a blow dryer and you can turn it like this and honestly it's just so good. There's a cool, a cool, a low, and a high setting. So I used the low for a little bit and then topped it off with the cool. So love this, great purchase, great find. Next, I'm so excited about this. This Starbucks cup, you guys, look how cute it is. Oh, I just, I just love it. Um, uh, I don't even know, I just love it. So this is the Starbucks cold cups. Um, you can take these back to your Starbucks and reuse them and you save I think like a dollar or two on your drink. They also come in hot cups. Um, mine says fire wife right here and then the fire department my fiance works for but I have a leopard print one and some other ones as well but I love these hot cups. I'm not a really honestly I'm not a coffee person at all but I like soda and water and sometimes I drink a teensy bits of co coffee and so honestly this is kind of like I go to just for anything it's water I love having a million cups you guys should see my cupboard because there's the whole bottom cupboard is basically all of my cups that I use next I'm so obsessed with this this is my favorite thing for like the entire year for like the last two months this is my favorite thing I got this when I was in California and if you guys follow me on Instagram you probably saw it but this is a Urban Outfitters flat brim hat um Comes in a couple colors, but this is beige nude. You guys know I have two other fedora hats that I've talked about for a while on this channel. This one, I guess technically, I guess you could call it a fedora hat. I don't know. Um, a lot of people wear these like kind of back like that, and I love my other one like that, but this one, mm-mm, girlfriend, I love it like this. This look doesn't really go with it, but summer, spring, this is my jam. This thing is cheaper than my 
Nordstrom one, but more expensive than my Amazon one. But seriously, it's still great. I love it. So many compliments on it. So many of you have bought it from Instagram. Um, just tons of tons of hype around that hat, and I love it. And then next is this um, tie-dye pullover from Target, and it's actually currently on sale, so hopefully it's not sold out by the time I share this. Um, and these next couple items I will post pictures over if you guys haven't seen it already so you can see what they look like because I'm not trying everything on for you guys in this video. This is a pullover from Target. It still has a tag on it. Guys, I'm so bad at taking tags off everything. I mean, I will be out in public and people will be like, do you have tags on? I'm like, hmm. Yes, I do. I just want you to know how much I paid for it. So this is it. It's like a long crop. It's definitely a crop sweatshirt or pullover, but it's not crop. Like I can wear, like, wear low rise shorts or jeans and nothing shows. Um, it is so soft. Honestly, I wasn't going to come home with this. And when I put it on in the try and jeez, in the dressing room, it was so soft. Um, it has a little bit of a balloon sleeve. I love this kind of little like mock neck neck um but it's not super big it's you can see it's loose it's tie-dye you guys this is everywhere um target's having some really good clearances right now so definitely snag that roll the bottom they're a little too long for my liking which when i put them on i was like mm. and then and then i rolled them and i was like oh girl you're coming home with me i think they're like under 20 17 bucks something like that i have a pair of shorts from target not this past summer but the summer i think before that wore them honestly for over a year and just absolutely loved it and then last but not least if you guys watched my what was it like spring transition video that I just did I shared this sweatshirt so this is that whole I'll share a picture of this in the cup that I posted on Instagram but it's the perfect combo oh my gosh so if you buy this sweatshirt in camo or in leopard print then you'll have to buy a cup in leopard print as well but this is this sweatshirt I have the sleeves I haven't washed it yet I have the sleeves cuff because it is a little bit long it's cute cuffed but it's not too short so um i went true to size i am always a medium in jackets and sweatshirts and things like that i just like i can wear small but things are more constricting i got wider shoulders so i need to be able to move and i got a medium in this and i uh freaking love it so that is that but tons of colors tons of tons of prints um under 30 dollars amazon prime you're welcome thank me later because it is so good and so soft and yeah, it's perfect for spring and i feel like on a cool summer night you could throw it on with shorts and your jelly flip flops and you'd be stylish girlfriend so stylish so cute so um actually that is the end of this video but i wanted to say thank you guys so much we finally finally like because of you hit six thousand subscribers on here like how exciting is that um I've been, it's been, I've been on here for a few years and I know my channel started with like only fitness and then we kind of slowly transitioned over the last two years. So this channel has definitely grown with me. Obviously I still love fitness. Um, I'm a personal trainer, like that is my full-time job, but I really love clothes and it's been something that I've opened up to and I love sharing finds with you guys. I've always been like that, like, oh girl, I got this on sale. Let me tell you where I got it from because I want you to have it. And so that's why I'm into the blogging thing now. I have my like to know it. I have you know, my Instagram, and I've kind of tra transitioned this platform into that as well, sharing clothes and stuff. You guys love those. There's always the videos that do really well, always really good feedback. You guys are always snagging the items that I'm posting, which as a reminder, all of these items will be linked in the description box below. But I just want to say thank you for following along. And again, I know my roller coaster has been like this for the couple years that I've been on here, but you guys kind of watched me grow up. Um, you know, I... I think I started this channel before I turned 21 and I turned 24 this past year. I'll be 25 this year, getting married, you know, just buying a house, dogs, everything. You guys have watched it all. So thank you. And I want to continue taking on the, taking you on my journeys with you. And, you know, you guys do the same. Let me know in the comments. I love when you guys recommend products and other people go back and forth on these videos. It's great. And I love the interaction. And I just... I can't wait to bring you guys more videos. We're just kind of at an awkward time right now, at least here in Texas. Like, I know I shared some spring items and some swim items, but we really just don't have a lot because it's still 40 and raining outside, and that's what it's going to be the rest of this week. But I promise I have a Walmart haul coming, coming next for you guys in the next video, which will be up shortly after this one. But I just want to say thank you so much for 6,000 subscribers. So let's, just, let's get us to the next big number. Um, 10,000 and then maybe we'll do a little fun giveaway. I don't know. I have 
something planned for when I hit my next big milestone, which by the way, it's very soon on Instagram. We're like 50 away from it. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and then you can be entered in that giveaway. So I'm very excited for that and things are just looking up. So I hope you guys have a good new year. And again, thank you for listening. I thank you for sticking around and that's all. All these will be linked in the description box below. We're two weeks late, so happy February. It's almost Valentine's Day, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Snag all of these items, you guys. I'm telling you, you're gonna love them. You're gonna love everything I talk about in my favorites video because they're my faves. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all and see you all in the next one. Bye guys.